Okay, we're back again at this beautiful flying site, and I'm here with Tom Schwinn, and we're going to talk a little bit about the training application as far as using like buddy boxes or a trainer cord to uh, to simulate actually a, a you know master student type situation with with the aircraft. You know, we talked a little bit about electrics and how they're a good starter entry level type activity. And what this does, what the trainer cord really does, it, it kind of allows you to go to the next level with a tat more higher performance aircraft. Even though you can use trainer cords on electric, there's really no limitation to where you can use them. But what this does, it lets the, lets the beginner get into a little more of an advanced type aircraft. And how the situation works is, is you have two transmitters. You have a master that I'm holding here, and then you have a slave, and these two are connected through this umbilical cord. And there's a switch on the master transmitter, and, and what this allows us to do is when the switch is in this position, which is its natural position, whoever the instructor is, they have control of the aircraft. So if you see here, as I move the stick, if you watch the, the ailerons on the wing, you can see that the ailerons move with my stick. Rudder on the back of the aircraft, it moves with my stick. Okay, now what we talked about was the switch that transfers control from the master to the slave transmitter. So, as I hold this switch up, I've now switched the control of the aircraft to Tom's transmitter. So now you'll notice he'll move his sticks, and now he has control of the airplane. Now at any time during this sequence, say, say he's a beginning pilot and the airplane gets out of sorts and it's coming down towards the ground, possibly crashing, I can let go of my switch. At that point, he has no more control, and I have the control again. So what this does, in a way, it, it kind of acts almost like a simulator effect for the student pilot because we can flip the switch, he has control of the aircraft. If the airplane gets out of control in any way or he gets a little behind it, then the instructor can let go of his switch, take the airplane back, and uh, hopefully you eliminate a lot of potential and devastating crashes. And for the entry level type pilot, and back when I started there was no buddy boxes, and I'll tell you, you build two or three of these and go out and crash them, That's right. you kind of get discouraged. That's right, it can well, be real discouraging. So what this thing does is this allows you to go out and get some good, meaningful experience and take your airplane home in one piece and hopefully give you a very pleasant learning experience which is going to keep you in this hobby for a while and that's what this is all about. That's exactly right. And One other thing, Terry, that we might mention is, is not only the buddy box uh, system but also the advent of the simulators. Give us a little bit of an overview of, uh, of what your experience has been with simulators and or with some of the students you've worked with and, and how it's helped their learning curve progress. Okay, simulators, boy, they've come a long way in the last oh, 10 tremendously. years. I mean, you know, originally it was like a now, like an early video game where you actually had a little mock transmitter that you played with and you could move the sticks in the airplane and go around on the screen. Well, nowadays, these things have got so advanced that uh, you use your own transmitter through a cord you hook to the TV. These simulators or your computer, I guess most of them are through the computers now, uh, you can pick any type of radio control aircraft you, there is. You can pick beginner airplanes, you can pick helicopters, you can pick the big aerobatic airplanes, you can pick jets, turbine jets, ducted fan jets, and not only can you pick them, they're actually simulations of models that are built today by different manufacturers. And you can set up the controls exactly the way you want it, you can pick your choice a lot of times, 8, 10, 12 flying sites. In fact, I think the site at Muncie here is in a lot of these simulators. That's right. So, if, you know, if you wanted to fly a jet, you could go in there and you could pick a Bob Violet Models King Cat and you could set it at this Muncie field and you could pick your turbine engine, the amount of thrust you want, through your transmitter and go out and, you, and they literally replicate exactly the way this yeah. thing flies. And I know a lot of the competition helicopter pilots before they go to a competition, these things are so accurate, they'll practice mm -hmm. on the simulator. Low inverted flight and all these aerobatics and reverse pitch things and everything they do, the simulators are that accurate that they can get good, meaningful practice before you come out to the competition. So, boy, just technology is exploding in this hobby right now. Absolutely. Okay, Tom, what do you think? Let's try to fly this thing. Let's give it a shot. Okay, we'll make a right-hand turn here, and when we get right in front of us, I'll flip the switch, and you have at it. And like we were talking, right now I'm in full control of the airplane, having the, the instructor's transmitter, making a right turn here. Okay, I'm going to throttle back to about half. At this point in time, I'm going to flip the switch, and you're going to have control. Okay. Now see, my sticks at this point in time are doing nothing. I'm. Uh, just along for the ride and to save the day if need be.
But with Tom on those controls, I don't think we're going to have an issue there. Okay, Tom, get it, get it in kind of a hard left turn, and I'll take it back. There you and go. Let's if he's in trouble, I'm going to release my switch now, and now my transmitter has control, and I can level the aircraft out again. So if Tom was a, a beginner at this point in time, I'd say, okay, Tom, I'm going to give it back to you. I flip the switch, and he has control again. And a lot of times, that's all it takes is just a five-second or so interlude just to get the airplane stable again at that point, and then give it back to the student. What do you say we get a real amateur on the controls? How about, how about Heather there behind the camera? You think uh, Heather might be willing to come out and give this a try? Yeah, that'd be great. Let's not put somebody on the sticks that's never been on. Okay, Heather, your turn. You ready? Ready. You've got it. Okay, you're doing fine. Make an easy right. Good, a little bit of back pressure like we talked about. Beautiful. Let it come around, do just what you're doing. A little more back pressure, now a little left to level your wings back out again. Okay, a little bit late on the left, but you're doing fine. Okay, let's come back around to the right again a little bit now. Just an easy right turn, a little bit of back pressure. Okay, come on around to the right. We're gonna, we're gonna come back towards us a little bit. A little back stick, okay, here we go. I got it at this point. Did you see how the nose started to drop down? You were yes, just a little late on your back pressure. So I'm gonna come right back overhead down the center line of the runway and we'll give it to you again, okay? Okay. So what do you think? You having fun? Just, yeah, definitely okay. having fun. It well, looks great might, so far. We might have a new modeler here. Okay, mm -hmm. ready? I hope so. You've got it. Nice. Good job. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on you. your first flight. Thank you.